As of late with Fallout 4 modding, we've been really seeing mods that push things forward. We of course have the constant stream of just high quality weapon mods, new items or armors that you could use in game and make the experience a bit better. Or even things like quest mods, which are particularly special and not quite as common, but in today's video, we're looking at something even a bit different than that. One of those rare mods that adds in new fundamental features into Fallout 4 that I think will inspire you to start a new playthrough or even just re-download Fallout 4 in its entirety. This is one of those comprehensive, really game-changing mods in many ways and has its fingers in many aspects of this game. So in this video, we're going to be taking a particular focus on crime and punishment. A brand new mod for Fallout 4 that is bringing back the karma system into the game. And although other mods have somewhat attempted this, nothing has gotten quite as close as this one does. As far as how comprehensive it is, how many new mechanics it adds in overall, and it really is a tremendous and incredible mod, so it deserves its own spotlight. So at its core, Crime and Punishment was really based around karma. If you have positive karma, certain good things may happen to you, you'll be treated differently by NPCs. And if you have negative karma, certain bad things will happen to you, and you may get negative consequences from certain NPCs. And on one hand, this is just adding in a karma modifier on many existing in-game events. Things you could always do in Fallout 4 may now raise or lower your karma, and you'll get a little on-screen message to alert you to this. That's really the cornerstone or the backbone of this one, but to really flesh it out, what the mod author did was add in a ton of new systems into Fallout 4 that give you new and additional options as to what you could do in game that will affect your karma. So some of the things are just vanilla, but now with this mod, you'll get a lot of additional options during certain interactions. And in particular, quite a bit in the way of negative options, ways for you to be a bad boy, which Fallout 4 was definitely lacking to begin with. So just right off the bat, something I do want to explain with this mod that is really cool, for basically every single feature, you can enable or disable it. It has full mod configuration menu support, and it is really in depth. You could choose exactly how you want things to work or how quickly you want to gain or lose karma. Maybe you don't even want karma to begin with, and you just want some of these new options or features. You could do that or turn some on, some off. It's really cool for the mod author to do that, and I would just keep it in the back of your head as you watch this video. But otherwise, what are some of the new things you could do with this mod? One of the big ones are interactions with other NPCs, specifically enemy NPCs. This will bring stealth takedowns into the mix, so if you do sneak up behind an enemy using the secondary key, you can immediately take them down and silently take them down. Separately, there's actually a new surrender system in Fallout 4 with this. Depending on how you configure this, there's now going to be a chance that when an enemy reaches a certain level of health, so by default, if they're under 50% health, there's a chance that they'll just give up fighting and surrender to you. From this, you actually have several different options. You could just execute them, rob them, or the most fun, actually take them as a prisoner, as this mod also adds in a new prisoner mechanic with your settlements. With this, you'll find a variety of new options. You'll be able to actually set up jail cells and other containment units for your prisoners. Separately, you could decide how you want to treat your prisoners. You could treat them well, and after a certain amount of time, they will upgrade into a reformed or just typical settler. But if you treat them badly or just ignore them overall, there could also be a revolt at your settlements. And they may try to flee or even attack you. But all throughout this, there are a variety of options as to how you want to treat your prisoners, and it will affect what they end up doing. But conversely, you could also flip the switch and actually surrender to your enemies. If you find them just absolutely destroying you in combat, you can put your hands up and surrender to them, which you don't know exactly what they'll do. They may just rob you, they may beat you up and then give you a certain amount of time to run away, or they could even take you prisoner themselves. This will add in a new insult mechanic into Fallout 4. So now there's going to be a new hotkey where you can just flip the bird to other people, whether it be friendlies, enemies, at some points, they'll just be annoyed and move on. At other points, they will fight you as a result. And you can actually do this to enemies in combat, and sometimes they'll enter into this enraged mode where they become a little bit frenzied against you. A more extreme version of this, there's a new holdup mechanic. So actually, very similar to how it works in Grand Theft Auto V, now you can actually hold up other NPCs. This too could be just about anyone. And the reactions will vary. If they just submit, you can rob them and get their items. Or alternatively, they may fight back against you. Or alternatively, just run away. And as I explained before, for all of these individual actions, some of the vanilla ones and all of these custom ones, it will have an impact on your karma. 
One of the impacts this could have is actually make it so other NPCs at your settlements will react differently to you. So if you have a prison filled settlement, some of the other settlers there may be a little bit less nice to you giving you cold remarks as you approach. This mod actually incorporates a ton of custom voice lines as well as its own custom quests at points. And this is actually pretty important, as with this mod, there actually is some depth to the karma system. Certain actions, although giving you negative karma, are from more of a social perspective. They'll affect how other NPCs view you and on occasion treat you, but they won't actually get bounties placed on you. Conversely, some of the more criminal activities which is kind of obvious, you can't just freely execute all of your prisoners, will in fact get bounties placed on you and in turn a bounty hunter will come after you. Bounty hunters are a fairly large part of this mod and actually give you several additional options. Firstly, if you do have a neutral or better karma and you are not viewed as a criminal, you can actually find the bounty hunters in Diamond City. From here, you can get additional information on the mod, but also be a bounty hunter yourself, getting a variety of jobs that they will pay you varying degrees of caps for, that number correlating to the difficulty or the challenge associated with it, and doing this will improve your karma. Or alternatively, if you do commit a bunch of crimes and do get a negative karma, bounty hunters may come after you in Fallout 4. You have a few options with this, you can just walk up to them, kind of similar to Skyrim guards and pay off your fine or even try and bribe them to go away. You could alternatively go with them and there's several outcomes with this. You may be placed in jail, you may choose public humiliation, or even you might just be executed. This isn't a death alternative, sometimes it will lead to death and having to load up one of those earlier saves. One other pretty cool aspect of Karma, you could actually use this as a spendable resource now. So sometimes during dialogue, you will actually have a pop-up saying you could spend some of your positive or negative karma to lower the difficulty of certain speech checks. But that of course is limited, so you can't just do that all day. Although if you are trying to boost your karma, there's also a waiting system associated with this. You can't just spam out the same interaction over and over again as it will have diminishing returns. Although speaking of which, depending on which type of returns you hope to get, there are actually different profiles for karma. By default, this mod will track 50 different interactions or activities in Fallout 4. Those 50 different things will affect your karma in different ways. As I mentioned earlier, some of these are mod interactions that are custom, other ones are just vanilla ones that have always been there. And you can customize this by hand, taking the time to pick out how much of an impact these have and whether it positively or negatively impacts your karma. Or alternatively, choose one of the preset profiles, either the Minutemen or the Raider, which are fairly self-explanatory. The Minutemen, good things will increase your karma, bad things will decrease your karma. While the Raider is the opposite. Doing bad things will put you in higher standing, giving you a more true-to-form evil playthrough, but everybody will love you. But also you'll get some of those additional options due to positive karma. And frankly, that's really just a broad overview. There is so much more to this mod that's honestly hard to cover every aspect of it in this video. Things like NPC pregnancy, your settlers can get pregnant and have kids, expanding your settlement that way. There's solicitation of other NPCs and in turn you can get pregnant. You can have a tiered approach to crime, so bounty hunters only chase you if you have particularly heinous crimes. But also, this has built-in support for a wide variety of existing Fallout 4 mods. Several of these actually being around the solicitation or intercourse aspect of this one. So if you want to expand that, have additional options, you can do that. Other things like depravity and some of the changes that it can bring to Diamond City and giving you additional options in that town. And for most of these, it'll auto detect what you have installed and potentially add additional functionality for them. And really, there's just so much more to this. If you even somewhat liked what I said with this, I highly encourage you to download the mod. There's a lot of reading to do if you want to, but I think to some degree it's kind of self-explanatory, you can figure it out on your own. Or just as a question pops up, there's a ton of documentation, you can quickly find an answer. In this I mostly focused on some of the new features this adds in, but don't forget this also adds in tracking for a lot of existing ones. How you treat or interact with other NPCs, specifically companions, will have an impact on your karma. There's certain extensions to existing quests, giving you additional ways to continue. And it really is a fully fledged mod, one of those ones you download and continuously see the impacts of across an entire playthrough. And it's only going to be getting bigger in the future. With this, the mod author described how right now some aspects are really in a beta or alpha stage. They are mostly integrated, but there should be a lot more to come, a lot of additional options as to what you could do with your karma or even features that affect it. And all in all, I found this to be a very unique one. 
It adds in this core new feature to Fallout 4 with Karma, and frankly, it could have just done that. But then it adds in a ton of other very natural or lore friendly features to really flesh out that system, and in turn having the effect of making Fallout 4 feel much more like a true RPG. So all around, that is a look at crime and punishment. Hopefully you guys found this video informative, it definitely is one of those mods that you should keep your eye on and probably download right now. But with that, as always again, I thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Later. I won't hurt.